Casual Connect. Casual Connect. Casual Connect. Casual Connect in a few words. Inspiring. Useful. Fun. Interesting. Friendly. It's Everything for me in this industry started with Casual Connect. The ultimate place for game industry professionals. Casual Connect Belga 2014. Casual Connect is an awesome event. Full of young people. You can feel the energy. It's a conference where people are casually connecting. Meeting points all around the world. Business opportunities. To make a business bigger and to help people to be successful. But it is also a good opportunity to see some lectures. To know some secrets for mobile development. Meet the right business partners, new friends and have fun actually. What is the main part of this Casual Connect? for me here. It's a very big um, indie prize showcase. It's a great event to meet great, talented, basic people, to, to get in touch, to hear about the industry, uh, to offer our solution and to hear other solution. It's a nice hotel, nice venue, there's some great booths, it's been a lot of fun. Well, it's amazing, it's huge, it's a big party, I like it. Over 1,000 game industry professionals come here to Belgrade to listen to lectures from over 80 industry experts. This time, the guests that share their experience with us are Katya Niemova from Wargaming, Bob Slin from Facebook, Valentin Simon of Unity, and many others. Briefly, the lecture is about engaging, uh, increasing um, revenue from your existing user base. It will be about porting uh, games into HTML5. So for example, if you have Flash game or native game, I will tell a few tips how to port it to HTML5. Basically, uh, it was about their, how to keep their uh, development time optimized and how, how they can use their development time efficiently and what are the mistakes that we did and lost time. Hopefully, uh, I tried to give a couple of examples from our story uh, that they can benefit. I wanted to tell everybody that this is important to take care about your IP that you develop because what developers do basically they create IP so they should take care of that. Yeah, I was talking about interfaces in games and how the interface is actually involved from the real life things that we use like from the tools that we use and then how we integrate that into the games and use it for our advantage to make it more user friendly. Well, it's it's exactly that one, so predictive analytics will become more and more valuable the, the higher the CPIs are going. And um, apart from that, I think it was pretty interesting for the audience to hear about how these predictive models work and how we evaluate performance and for what we can use them for. We asked some of the attendees about the hottest industry trends as well. Ooh, the hottest trends. Um. Yeah, there are a lot of trends actually, but HTML5 games are uh, pretty going good. Probably it is to convert players to payers. We actually, we're actually trying to discuss this on a panel on the first day of the uh, Casual Connect, and we didn't name any. But uh, I would say that might be home entertainment. Uh, I think actually the hottest thing is uh, to be able to play your game wherever you are. Apart from the CCRPG, I'd say the hottest trend now is just free-to-play games that are fun. Uh, mixing genres and mechanics to really exploit gotcha systems and provide players with a lot of value and a lot of reward. And Prediction. <laughs> Gaming, gaming industry is very fluid, I would say, so it's very hard to make predictions. They say that uh, in uh, 2015, um, uh, mobile web will overcome PC web. So you can see probably also the trends in the uh, lectures are a lot. A lot of the lectures are focused about how to monetize free-to-play games or like. Um, how to make in-app pur purchases and how to retain your customers. Much, much more uh, people are going to understand, you know, the analytical part, of course, um, and then we'll be more educated, you know, to how how to actually promote the games and how to market the games uh, more and well, you know, on other markets. I definitely think that 
um, indie developers have uh, a growing force and they're going to be more predominant in the games industry. And definitely a lot of interesting new content uh, is appearing. It's going to be mobile games and it's going to be expansion into Asia. The video advertising will be the new next thing. There is going to be some new form of free-to-play. Something is bound to happen because the situation is locked right now. The hottest strengths I, I think it's the uh, free-to-play games and uh, uh, mobile platforms. Free-to-play is uh, becoming more and more trendy. Yeah, everybody it. Yes, yeah, uh, everybody so I'm not special. You can cut it, sorry. I think every person on the earth will be a player. What is the moment everyone is looking forward to at the conference? Where you can find new friends and potential partners, learn many new things and relax. Welcome to the famous Casual Connect Party! What makes this party special? I enjoy the fact that they chose a band over a DJ this time. I'm sick of the DJs. Nice band. Great time. The band is good, the people are dancing, the food was tasty, and it's always good to have a free beer or two. Uh, just being here in Serbia and in Belgrade, it, it makes it special because it's the first time and we have a lot of developers here. So this is my impression, this is how Belgrade is now for me in my head. Look at the girls, <laughs> look at the guys inside, everybody's having fun. Generous sponsor makes this party unforgettable. And we are continuing with the next day of Casual Connect. that Enterprise Showcase is the greatest attraction for Casual Connect attendees. Over 40 indie developers demo their games at Casual Connect, and we are about to find out more about them. Uh, it's a space exploration game. Uh, you are alone astronauts in space and you have to survive to find your way back to Earth. This game is a kind of running game with uh, RPG assets. So you have to make uh, some exploration into a huge level and uh, kill uh, enemies. Uh, well, it's a puzzle game. We added an electricity team and uh, each level has its own constraints. So we have a time-based level, moves-based level. I decided uh, I would like to make my own game because I never found a good airplane management game. It's a very realistic game, so it's, it's really like a real-life airplane airport. So uh, Dust Hall is a sandbox MMORPG. It's a persistent online world where uh, we throw a couple hundred people into a dark fantasy prison valley and they have a couple months of like getting out of that valley again. Uh, it's a tower defense platform game uh, with a lot of action. It's a very uh, frenetic action. So uh, you die uh, and you die again. It's a puzzle game similar to uh, 2048 but uh, with a storyline and uh, graphics and no numbers. It's a game uh, which, which has really intense, short gameplay loops, so you can play it for five minutes uh, on, on a bus station or whatever. And basically, there is a big storyline in, 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 uh, in background of this game. I really always wanted to do a game that included destructible terrain where you had to blow each other, blow the landscape up and, and destroy, destroy all these, all these buildings and kind of stuff. We make real-time multiplayer games for mobile and uh, this is our game uh, Critical Strike Pure and what we're trying to do with this is bring esports to mobile. So we've designed it to be very competitive but also player friendly in terms of monetization. We saw many fantastic games, and we think many of them deserve to win the prize. Let's find out who the winners are. Indie Prize Awards and Party immediately following hosted by Nadeus. We 
we hope this this award will at least like get some people to notice us and get some people to play our game. That would be really great. And then we have maybe a future. <laughs> I think the Casual Connect people did a really incredible job of getting, just selecting all these, all these awesome people and putting them together in one room. Because the fact that they're together in one room is also really awesome. Because you get to talk to all these great game designers, get their feedback, get their ideas, give your own ideas to other people and it just makes everyone better, right?